Hey, 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 my name is Paul Sings. welcome to Sakura Beach 2. We are near back. Near. Here are the cliffs, finally. The sun is going to sleep and we'll be watching that with three girls. Anyway, it took us a while to walk through. Then exulted as she stares out at the ocean. It's so beautiful, Seiji. I think it's the first time we see her in this clothes. It's always been swimsuit or in what point the apron. Anyway, I never thought the ocean could look like this. She can hardly contain her excitement. Oh, she's having such a great time! It's nice to see. Just standing... <laughs> yeah, it's nice to see. <laughs> That's offensive, you know. <sighs> God damn it. Just standing there, then takes in the side of the sun, casting a warm amber light over the land and sea. She seems so delighted to have such a magnificent view. I wish moments like this could last forever. It can, Nana. It can. Huh? How? I think we will try to view time in a rigid way. What do you mean? Well, if you think about it. Have you ever had a day where nothing happens? Then at the end of the day you think to yourself, where did the day go? To put it simply, time doesn't pass in seconds. A moment can feel like nothing, or it can feel like an eternity. It all depends on how we look at it. How can someone so then say something like that? So this moment can last forever. If you really wanted to. I never thought if of it that way. So the thing our time together could be like that. If you want it to be, then it can. Well, I really want that. I want every moment we spend together to feel like it lasts forever, say. I mean, nearly say something might hold back. Mogulot gives her an awake look. That's right, just let her enjoy this. And so then it lasts for the longest time. She's starting to look tired, for. I'm a bit worn out after today. This is lovely view, for. Thanks for letting me see it, Sadie. We can come here anytime you like, then. She just smiles in response. Come on, I'll be back to the hotel, then. Okay. The two of them cut off, but Aumi stays behind. She seems to be thinking to herself. So, Aumi. What do you think of Nana now? Well, I've changed my opinion of her a little bit. Well, I can't approve of her trying to analyze me like that. She says some surprisingly accurate things at times. Even so, we can't forget that the one who confessed to you. No one's forgetting about that, okay? Do you think I'm someone who will just forget a lifetime of memories with you? Th that isn't what I was just implying. You said yourself that you've changed your opinion. I think it's going fine. Right, it'll be fine, I'm sure. I miss love is a bit jealous. It's not something she can help. Even when she's with Momoko, I can see how badly she's com she competes for my attention. Anyway, I spent too much time dwelling on this. It's getting late, isn't it? She's not wrong. I always choose to go to the cliffs during a very specific hour of the day. It's usually only a short time before she the stars begin to shine. So, shall we go then? It will be dark by the time we get back. Somehow I don't think we should just leave things like this. We, we can spend a bit longer here, I think. Grabs her hand. I do that. Would like that. For when she seems to lose her composure. Well, I guess I can accept this arrangement. Don't let it get to your head for you fool. I just have to not feel like leaving just yet. Yes, of course. Finally, you're getting it. That's right. It's not like you wanted to spend time with me, is it? Exactly. I take a seat on the cool grass. Close my eyes, feel the wind rustling through my hair. It's nice, too nice to go back just yet. Don't you think? 
she sits next to me, looking out towards the ocean. You're right. We'd better spend a bit longer here. Inch by inch she gets a little closer to me. To my surprise she lays her head on my shoulder. I try not to move. Out of the corner of my eye I swear that I see her blushing. This is one of the moments where it would be better to say nothing. Because words are needed to understand how she's feeling. We just watch the sun dappled water shimmer in the distance. Seiji, thank you. I just nod and smile. Quietly watch the sun set in the distance, the last of its golden rays shimmering of the mirror sheen of the ocean. Until the stars begin to pierce through the orange veil above me. Welcome home, silly! You too, Ivy! Welcome home, Mr. Stranger! Did you two spend some quality time together? Nothing of the sort. I keep telling you that I'm the full supervisor. If he can't keep himself out of the trouble, what do you think would happen to him if I wasn't there? Nice of you to boost my self-confidence. You're welcome. Ouch. Nana seems to be trouble for. Looking at her, Aumi lets out a defeated sigh. I don't have any problem with you being here now. Really? Yes. Just remember that I own 50% of Seiji. I'll let you borrow some of that 50%. Only some of it? Well, if we all took 33% of Seiji, there will be still 1% left. So what would we do with that 1%? Do I get to keep it? Of course not, silly! I should have known. I don't get an opinion of who wants what. Well, I suppose it's okay. I'm just glad that you aren't mad at me anymore. Well, of course I'm not. I just had to make sure that Seiji remains safe, that's all. Oh, we really do care about him. Quiet, it's not like that. It's not like that at all. It's fine to admit that you know. Being to denial of your own feelings can be healthy. Who asks you what I feel like? Fine, I get it. It's not like you or anything stupid. I mean, seems to grow pale upon hearing that. Don't make jokes like that. It hurts. She seems to melt into the floor. Uh, what would I do if Seiji hated me? It's obvious that I has already taken a root in her brain. Hey, hey, I me, are you okay? What if Seiji and I never got married? What would I do then? Usually when I say something dumb, she just gets angry with me. But when this happens, it's like her body completely loses any composition it has. Sorry, Amy, okay? Just be mad at me like usually do, I can't handle this. She lets out a sniffle. Promise that you won't ever hate me, Seiji. I promise! Please cheer up! Eventually she springs back up. Well, I guess that's fine. I'll forgive her now, but don't expect me to be so generous in the future. That sounds more like something you would say. Oh, Seiji, stop leaving me out of this! Say something nice to me too! Even else I'll have to rot it out of you! Momoko immediately bears her face to my back. Is she sniffing me? Seiji smells so nice! She, she keeps sniffing. Stop that, it's weird! I want to smell this forever! She's not listening to me. Wait, is she dragging me off? Where are taking me? I look back to the darkness of the room. Just come along, silly! I promise that it will be worth your while! She beams a bright smile at me. But all I can feel behind is a sinister aura. Let me go! I try to pull away, but once again she proves too strong for me to escape. Thankfully Amy manages to pry her off me. Oh Amy, don't be so greedy! You got to have one on one time with Seiji! Nothing as this decent as what you were planning. While all of this happening, Nene seems to be bursting to us something. Is something up, Nene? Can I stay the night? I can, can't I? 
Nen looks up hopefully at me. Well, it's not really my decision. Of course you can stay! But what about? I suppose I can tolerate her just this once. I we left out a hoof and turns her back to the rest of us. But there's a problem with that we... I'm so glad that you're all happy to let me stay here. Oh, uh, I can't keep doing this. I walk over to Nen and whisper in her ear. What about your parents? Don't you have to get back before nightfall? I told you that the maids will cover for me. My parents barely see me most days. So they wouldn't even know if I was out or not. Since the maids tell them everything about my day. What are you two talking about? I mean, leans over to look down me. You wouldn't be keeping any secrets from me, would you? You wouldn't be telling this the girl any lies, right? No, I wouldn't. It's fine, don't worry about it. I mean, used to be jealous. But now she seems more protective of Nene than anything. Pulling her away from me, Ayumi looks Nene that in the eye. Now Nene, you must be careful. Seiji is a terrible pervert and will fill your hair with lies. Just so he can have his way with you later. What do you mean by have his way with me? It seems like a sincere question. But Ayumi freezes almost as if she's turned into the concrete. Well, that's when... When what? Could you explain it to me? Never mind, we can't talk about... Come on, tell me! I want to know what it means when he wants to have his way with me. No, I'm not telling you. Stop being mean, I want to know the secrets. No, Nene pouts to herself. Stop that. You can't carry on like that when you don't get your way. So it was fine when you were doing it. Hey! Both of them devolve into arguing quickly. Monka just sits back and smiles to herself. I think that Anna has settled in just fine. Don't you, Seiji? Well, they're arguing with each other. But it's not like before. Seriously, Fo. You should explain what I meant by have your way with Anna. I should do it. I. Why me? Because it's your responsibility, of course. You pretend here, now you have to help her. What kind of twisted logic is... Someone says my by the arm. Seiji, I am me won't tell, won't tell me any secrets. What does mean when you want to get your way with me? Looks like it became my responsibility anyway. Don't you dare tell her, Seiji. And he says me by the other arm and grumpy stares up at me. You, you, you seem a bit more confident than you usually are. <laughs> what do you... And we suddenly realize that she's clinging to my arm. For she grows embarrassed, she's able to keep her composure. I just did this because Nene did. That's all. Seeking her talk out, Nene continues to taunt her. Who's being immature now? You can't even touch the guy like you like. I feel I'm grip on me tighten, to the point of being painful. You're the one sticking your tongue out like that. You spoiled child. Even for they are arguing like that before. It feels like this is the way they are supposed to communicate. Right, where is Nana going to sleep tonight? Well, of course I'm going to share who say. I hear wood splinter. I mean, had one face in the wall, looking more like a demon than her usual self. Her face has punctured clean through, leaving a gigantic hole. There will be no such thing. You're thinking right where I can keep an eye on you, Nene. Curing behind, Nene seems quite unsure what to do. Sadie, she's really scary. She huddles up close to me. Not so close. He'll make her angry. Sure enough, the demonic aura emitting from Oimi grows stronger. Call down, Ivy. No, that doesn't seem to help at all. What do we do now? Seiji! Get over here! I've never seen her like this. This is terrifying. Let me think, what can I do to stop this? Maybe you'd like to spend the night in my room instead, Amy. Eh! Now... BOOM! That's a good counter-attack! The atmosphere changed. 
her aura disappears instantly. But spent the night alone would just be a Sergi. What would happen? The shade of her cheeks is as deep as the color of roses. I can do that, it would be so embarrassing. She is drifting off into a world of her own. Nana breathes a sigh of relief. You know how to handle her, her Sergi? I don't know what would have happened if she didn't stop. Believe me, even when you're as dense as me. <laughs> so you understand that you are dense? Oh my! He knows. Sometimes you learn a thing or two. I'm just standing there now, musing to herself endlessly. If I did go inside this room, what would he want me to do? Would I agree to that? What if he asked me to do this and that? No, I can't handle this. It's too embarrassing. She retreats from her room, slamming the door behind her. Oh, Seiji, I'm supposed to be the one who makes go into a shutdown. It's so fair, you're stealing my niche. Moku pauses herself. Could we all stop pouting at me, please? Okay, I'm sure that I will be fine. She just reboot me to mode at the moment. As for you, Nene. Grabbing her by the arm, Moku leads her away. We need to get to know each other. And looks back at me with fright. Sergi, happy! It's too late. Huh? Why should take Nena into that room? The door quickly looks closes. Hey, you two. I can't hear anything in response. I guess I'll just wait then. The minutes slowly drop on, and those two still haven't emerged from that room. I'm going the door, listening closely. Ah, uh, that's all you wanted to do? Yep! So why don't we give it a try? Sounds nice. What's going on exactly? As I'm at the door, a sudden thought occurs to me. Isn't that the door to... Oh boy! Fix the wraps into my face. Through the heat I see... Both of them. Oh, Sadie. I was expecting you. Sadie. Nana leans against the side of the path, pushing her fruit against it. Would you also like to have a bath? Gee, Nana, you need to have some shade. Moko pers up Gary's hair from behind. You can just casually ask someone to get in bath with you. She pers up her even harder, almost enveloping Nana's entire back. I can't help but stare. I never knew that Momokos were so... You know... Say you stop looking like that! She begins to wiggle on the spot, making her chest shift all over the place, with quite a noticeable effect. Nene turns around to face Momoko, unintentionally making their chests rub together. What do you mean, Momoko? Am I not supposed to let Seiji see me like this? Completely exposed? Of course you aren't! Only I'm allowed to do that! Nene pauses to herself. No fair! I want to expose myself to Seiji and ask as you do! Nene stands up in the bow, her hands on her hips, although the steam obscures it. Seiji, from this day forward, I will expose myself to you! Momoko then stands up and pushes Nene aside. No! That is my job! Both of them, standing there. I, with the steam, I'm going to faint. Why are we both taking a bath together? We're getting to know each other. After all, we're all in this together. It's not unusual for the girls to take baths together, silly. If you like, you could join us too. No, 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 that's not normal. Oh, uh, but we used to do that when we were younger. You, you, you did? No, sir! I want to be able to do that too! Why are you bringing up something so embarrassing? There's no need to be ashamed, silly. This is what childhood friends do. You have a weird idea about what childhood friends do. Nene, you shouldn't. Eh? Nene has grabbed me by the hand. Join us, Sadie! See? Nene gets it! No, they are pulling me in. I'm getting close to having a face full of... I'll wash you all over, Sadie! I'll help too. No, I'm done. I bolt the room, slamming the door behind me. I'm going to bed. I can't handle any more of this.
It's odd. For most of my life, I never gave much thought to love or romance. Now I'm surrounded by three girls who all say they love me. I've dwelled a fair bit on the reasons for why I never thought about love. It's better to just not keep dwelling on it, I think. After all the fools, I did end up seeing my mother. I met Moko over there too. She was quite shocked by the whole affair, but my grandfather managed to calm her down. Despite all that, she seemed happy for me though. Maybe I was just overthinking it. I didn't want to see her, but it was really fair for me to not see it from her perspective. She didn't have a job at the time, nor did she have anywhere to go. Not to mention that she was only a few years older than I am now at the time. I meant that it must have hurt her deeply to give up her baby. Oh, so that's how it actually went. She had completely nothing. And she had you. Okay, I understand now. Suddenly she doesn't look so bad now. In my eyes. Anyway. It's not like that I lived in poverty. Yeah, you were with grandfather, so still in the family, right? Kind of. My grandfather made sure that I never went astray. Considering the circumstances, I think everything worked out fine. In the end, I think my mother actually wanted the same thing I did. She wanted to present herself to her son as someone respectable, just like how I wanted to show her that I was doing fine. She found a job in the end and got a successful career. My grades have been doing a lot better with my institution. So overall, I think it's all going to be fine. Life can change so quickly. I think I've grown up a little bit these last few months. Although I'm still not used to this new life of mine. With Nana in the mix, it seems like things are going to be even more complicated than before. She said that if she could, she'd follow me to school. In that event that she convinced her parents to let her transfer. What would life be like then? I can't just picture it now. Hey, this new student, student transfer student is cute. Why did you decide to transfer to our school? Do you have a boyfriend? Then she would just transfer in in cons innocently, sorry. I came here because Sage is here. Something along those lines. Even think about it is enough to send chills down my spine. If they weren't going to murder me before all of this, then I'm sure they will if that happened. Enough of that thing about that, I think. It's been a long day for me. A little bit of sleep might ja be just what I Eh? I feel a presence in the room. There's no one else here. I didn't hear the door open or anything, so obviously it's my imagination. Wait, was this pressing up against me? It's soft and warm. It's probably my imagination, right? I should look. Well, I think I'd better have a look. I turn on my side to see what's there. To my horror, I see someone looking back at me. Hey, Seiji. Why are you wet? She huddles up closer to me. Wait. What? Her shirt. It's so true from the buff. And I can see her. What are you? She puts a finger on my lip. Shush. No one knows I'm here. That's not a problem. Nana seems taken back. Well, I'll leave if you want me to. I didn't say leave. Just explain yourself. I just want to spend more time closer to Seiji. There's nothing wrong with that, is there? With the way she's looking at me. I guess not, but... What? When a guy and girl sleeps in the same bed, it's kind of... What's the right word for us? It's intimate. Really intimate. I know. But you said I could stay. I want to get lost before you leave, Sadie. So even if I'm not able to see again, I will at least carry this bond in my heart. She's... She's so cute! When did she get this cute? My heart skipped a bit just then. So, with no regard for my personal space, she creeps up even closer to me. Link over she. She plants a kiss on my cheek. 
I can feel my face going into meltdown. She lets out a good when she sees how red I am. That means you remember, doesn't it? Mako told me all about your little old habits. She did. Yep, Sage is very bashful, I know that much. She said that Lucas would make your heart flutter. This is bad. Now Nenen knows how to pluck at my heartstrings. I get scared, you know. What worried me was, if you were just being nice to me out of pity. Eh, why would I do that? I know I'm not normal. I'm reminded of that every time I sneak out of my home. So, when I finally made a friend, I really didn't want them to just look down. This girl. She's a lot more aware of her oddness than I thought. I can practically feel her pain as she speaks. So, I'm just so happy. Let's say she doesn't judge me. How could I judge you? You are who you are because of the circumstances you faced. To blame you or, or pity you for that. That just isn't right at all. Happily she grins at me. That's why they love you, you know. Eh? What do you mean? What can I mean? They love that sweet, accepting personality of yours. She lets out the goo and rests her head on my chest. I feel like I'm going to faint. You don't have to get so close. It's fine, isn't it? No, it's not fine. Is either of them find us in this room? Pillows. It's going to be pillows. I just know it. If that were to happen, we would both be destroyed. But if I leave the room, or ask her to leave the room, I'll hurt her feelings. Why must love be so difficult? Then let's out a loud yawn. I'm sleepy, Sagey. She slowly closed her eyes, still resting her head on my chest. You're a very comfortable pillow, Sagey. No, I have to think of a solution now. If she falls asleep here, it's over. I won't be able to move without waking her up. Which means I'll be caught for sure. Think, think, think. Your heart is going really fast, Sadie. She's being up on my panic. Don't worry about it, okay? Okay. Good night, Sadie. Good night. That's the only response I'm able to master. Yeah. Your heart is still really fast. Will you be able to sleep? I'm sure I'll be able to. I can't sleep if Sage can't sleep. Opening her eyes, she fixed her gaze on me. What are you thinking about, Sage? What do you mean? You didn't notice me when I sneaked into her room. It looked like you were thinking about something. What makes you think of that? I know what happens to me when I'm out looking at the stars. You had that same look on your face. So what's on Sage's mind? Just thinks, then thinks. Things I probably shouldn't be thinking about. Like what? Complicated. Well, I can sleep. So we have plenty of time to talk about it, don't we? Well, why not? I basically give her the short version of everything that's happened up until now. She pays attention the whole time, completely absorbed in the story of my life. And so, despite how I felt about my mother, I realized that it wasn't fair to not hear her side of the story. After the trip, she'll be visiting again. That's so nice, Sadie. Sitting up, she smiles brightly. I think that the rift between people is never too far. If they're good people, then they'll come back together soon enough. I guess so. For a moment, she turns away from me. Do you think that I could do that with my parents? Your parents? Yes. They're always so busy, they never have time for me. I want to do my best to overcome that. You think it's possible? Well, I'm not saying it's impossible, but I don't really know the circumstances. So, it's not possible then. She cuddles up to the bed, wrapping her arms around her knees. I know that I don't know what's saying, but even if it's not possible, I want to try anyway. That isn't what I'm saying. She's gotten the wrong idea completely. I'm sure that if you try, then your parents will respond to you accordingly. There's no way they that they could ignore their daughter. It seems to reassure her. Right. Anything can happen, right? That's right. I'm sure if you're right, then you will notice you. They will notice you. She lies back down, smiling to herself. Yep. I feel better now. She happily comes to herself. Everything is going to work out just fine. She bursts her head in my chest. Your heartbeat is too fast, Sage. 
but I could fall asleep losing it. Quietly she closed her eyes and drifted away. This will be the longest night of my life. And the end of it will come in the next episode. For now, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye.